Slowly, the stars began to emerge, as if from a deep slumber. April simply stared at the night sky, with the girl sleeping gently against her bosom. Due to it having been such a long time, not only was the night clear of clouds providing a clear view of the sky, she hadn't allowed herself to take risks to be outside at night. I miss these moments, April sighed softly. Having one hand hold the girl, April thought about how it was now crucial to find some place where they'd be safe. Thoughts flickered to where she'd slept, inside damp, dark buildings out of sight. If I stay in those places, the girl isn't going to be able to grow properly. She needs to be in an environment where she'll receive enough resources on top of gaining confidence. April remembered how the girl shook in fright upon seeing her. In the dangerous world post-civilization, the girl couldn't be scared. There'd be too many times where she needed to fight or run. Being frozen by fear would just be a death sentence. The problem is that developing confidence could only be cultivated someplace where mistakes can be made. April thought about how, if they were in a city, the girl could be kidnapped by bandits before learning anything that helped her to survive in the harsh reality. Her eyes traced the numerous stars creating images of the constellations. She could see people fighting against monsters. There were also mythical creatures, incredible pictures. In one of the constellations, there was even a star that could be used to find where North was. The star had been helpful for April as she traveled across the continent. Slowly, April could feel her body wanting to slip into sleep. The day had been long and full of surprises. She made sure to maintain her senses so she'd be alerted by anything that moved close to where they lay. Even if it would be difficult to spot them, even at night, some time would be needed to flee. Using a thumb, April rubbed the girl's back. I hope you have a good night's sleep. April whispered to the girl as she closed her eyes. Movement woke April. Her eyes quickly opened, but she made sure not to move. She had learned long ago not to make any quick movements upon waking. There was always the possibility that movement could cause noise or her to fall off a branch. April took a second to try and figure out what had caused her to awaken. Her hand moved and that's when she remembered the day before. You awake already? April tilted her head forward, seeing the girl turning her head to look at her surroundings. Thinking it was an excellent time to get up, April carefully got off her back while crossing her legs. She placed the little girl on her lap. Compared to before, the girl didn't react to April's touch. I'm guessing you're feeling better, she asked. Just with the movement of the girl, it was clear that the child had become more energetic. This was a stark difference compared to when she was first found by April. It wasn't to the degree of a child that had access to resources, but was still a welcome sight. April had worried that the leaves the girl ate would have a negative impact. Nearly all the plants had changed compared to in the past. The fact that she had never seen a person eat the leaves made April wonder if the girl would be able to handle the greenery as food. Just in case, she took a quick sniff of the air. At least you didn't go to the bathroom. If there was an issue with the leaves, I suspect that your body would have expelled any material it could. April smiled. The human body was adapted to expel poisons. This would be seen with a watery stool, compared to the kind that looked closer to a semi-firm log. 
April was also glad to know that she wouldn't have to deal with cleaning up after the girl if her body did reject the leaves 